today we're going to be taking a look at missing numbers in addition. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, let's say I had an addition fact. 5 plus 3 equals 8. Now, let's say I covered up the 3. I didn't know that it was 5 plus 3 that equaled 8. Tell me, how could I possibly figure that out, this 3? 5 plus some number equals 8. Ah, I can hear your brain's churning. If I did 8 minus 5, that would give me the answer of 3. Ah, so we're going to use that to help us find missing numbers in addition. So when we are using missing numbers in math, we call that number by a letter instead of a number because we don't know what it is. So let me give you a different example here with an actual missing number. Let's say we had 54 plus some number, you get to choose what letter you'd like to use. I'm feeling like an M this morning. 54 plus some number will give me 210. And with our other example, we saw that if we subtracted that number out, 210 subtract 54, that it would give us the number that we needed. So let's do the math. We know we cannot do 4 from 10, so we have to borrow. So now we get 10 minus 4 is a 6. We can't take 5 from 0, so we're going to borrow. There we go. And that leaves us with 156 is the M. Well, let's check it and make sure, because we know with subtraction we have a built-in answer checker. So let's go ahead and add 156 and 54. I'm going to do it like it's done here. 54 plus 156. 6 and 4 is 10. 5 and 5 is 10 and 1 is 11. And 1 and 1 is 2. And looky here. <laughs> 210 is the answer both times. So we can use the opposite of addition, subtraction, to help us find missing numbers in addition. Let me give you another example, one that's maybe a little bit more complex. Let's say I had several numbers that I was adding together. 32 plus 51 plus 18 oops, plus some number. I'm feeling like using a P. Some number, when added all together, will give me 349. How do I do this? Well, let's take care of what we actually know up front. We know we've got 32, 51, and 18, and we can add those together and get one number. Let's do it. 32 plus 51 plus 18 equals 8 plus 2 is 10. I'm always looking for groups of 10 when I can find it. Plus 1 is 11. 5 plus 3 is 8. 1 is 9, and 1 is 10. So we know that all of this equals 101. I'm going to use a red marker for it. So now we have 101 plus some number, which we're calling P, equals 349. And now it looks very similar to what we just did before. Let's go ahead and subtract. 349 minus 101. 9 minus 1 is 8. 4 minus 0 is 4, 3 minus 1 is 2, but we're not going to just rely on that. We think that's the answer, but let's check it. So let's add our 101 to our 248 and see if it gives us our total. 8 plus 1 is 9, 4 plus 0 is still 4, and 2 plus 1 is 3. And look at that. It works out, so it must be that P equals 248. Still works. That's how you find a missing number in addition. Pretty simple. See you later. Bye.